Hi, welcome to part two. Our next step will be taking the thing apart. <laughs> okay. Uh, I guess I'll set you down for a second because I gotta lift this up, unplug everything, and then put it up on the bed. Okay, so now I'm ready to test it out. Here we go. We're gonna open this up. Okay. Yay. Gonna unplug it from this ATA card that we have plugged into here. Plug both of these cables. I have to remember which side they go on the. Okay. The fun part. Trying to be very, very careful with this. Okay. Old processor is out. Just lay that right in here. There. And then, um, the new one. set it down. I don't want to mess this up. Hi, it's in. Now they said um, to press the PRAM reset button. Don't quite know where that's at. <laughs> that's interesting. Right here, duh. It's a little orange button. Okay. And you can close it back up. So plug the cables back in. Okay, now they're plugged in. Got to close these completely down and put the lid back on. Well, not really lid, side. And it's in. Okay, we got it here. Uh, hopefully. Uh, the speed will show up right now, and you'll be able to see how much quicker it boots. Um, I don't know if it's booting any quicker, I can't say that, but this is the first boot. Since I put the processor in. Oh, uh oh. Uh, I'll check that out. Alright, so I tested it out earlier and it turns out it didn't boot. Um, but I remembered why and I wanted to point out that you need to do this. Right here, there's this little CUDA button right there. Can't really get enough lighting there, but uh, you have to hold that in, and then it should boot correctly with the Sonic card. Okay, right, so surprisingly, yeah, surprisingly, I restarted the computer after giving me that error. I did not disable extensions, though. And, um, it booted. So, we're gonna see if everything's okay with it. 
Um, I need to find any system profile here. Um, let's see if it's dead or not. <laughs> Machine speed. 1000 megahertz. There you go. Processor type on your own. Whatever. Um, so we got the processor in. It's working. That's good. Uh, now, we have to put on a newer version of Mac OS. We're probably going to go to 10.3 or 10.4 for now. I'm going to try and get 10.5 eventually. But for now, we're stuck at this. And after we get that on, we can put the graphics card in and the Ethernet card. It's a T1000, I believe. But once that's done, uh, installing we will get to that okay so first I'm gonna stop the camera and find my disk and then I'm gonna boot it up off of no actually before I do any of that I need to put the newest version of Mac OS 9 and then I'm gonna put uh, X post facto on then I'll be able to do it it's old world